I first got started with Visual Studio, I guess, in 1997, where we sort of said, you know, what if we could do something, you know, that was that was fairly big and radical, that could kind of bring forward kind of our platform dramatically, and that that was really kind of what led to .NET as well as Visual Studio .NET. It's a big thing to say, I'm going to introduce a brand new programming paradigm and I'm going to convince all my developers to move over to it. That's hard. I mean, we did have systems. We had invested a lot in those systems and, you know, they were functional and did the right thing. So, you know, I would say there was the normal kind of skepticism around starting a big new effort like that. And for the website, we, we tried to figure out what was next. And the irony was originally we thought, wow, there's nothing left to do. It's Everything's been done. We had to make a lot of decisions around how we were going to serve a new set of developers. Uh, they were kind of moving off of perhaps writing a lot of C++, and they really needed a more modern kind of environment. One of the things for us that was hard to figure out in the first .NET release was to try to figure out sort of how fast would the common language runtime be. You know, this concept of garbage collection uh, in, in the, in the mid-90s was fairly radical. And you know, a common assumption back then was you know, no server could do garbage collection. Um, with that, we knew we had to create something that broke a lot of new ground that included things like you know, automatic memory collection, things like that, where you didn't have to worry about calm and some overly technical pieces. So for us with Visual Studio and especially with .NET, you know, one of the things that we were trying to figure out is you know, around 96, 97, 98 was this realization that, um, you know, it sounds trite now, the web was going to be big. <laughs> And that was some of the genesis behind .NET and Visual Studio .NET uh, was to basically say we, we, we need to kind of radically bring forward um, you know, our platform as well as our tools to kind of take, take advantage of this new world. This meeting we were having was about the web and the challenges we were having around the web. It was on a Friday afternoon. And we were up on the whiteboard and we were sketching out the things we needed to have in the next version of our product in order to be effective at building the next killer web application. So we're sketching these ideas out, it must have this, it must have that, and we all break at the end of Friday afternoon and, and we, we committed to get back together again on Monday morning. And so I, you know, I kind of over, I think, Christmas 97, uh, between 97 and 98 kind of prototyped uh, the first version of ASP.NET. Scott Guthrie walks in with what appears to be a fully functional version of Visual Studio that he wrote over the weekend that had most of the features that we described in this meeting. And it was very simple and you know it didn't do everything and it used COM and JavaScript and uh, C++ and a whole bunch of other things. But you know, you get kind of the fundamentals of building a page, having a component model, having kind of a security architecture and pipeline and a whole bunch of things. And I was completely blown away because you know, it took us years and years to build the Visual Studio that we had at the time, and Scott just cranked it out. Well, our first uh, web tool for Visual Studio was something called Visual InterDev. Um, there are lots of issues in terms of performance, in terms of configuration and deployment. You know, a couple of the challenges were every time you actually rebuilt your, your comma objects, you actually had to stop and restart your web server. And so you manually had to reboot your web server on every compile. Um, which was obviously a pain. Debugging, you know, the debuggers, you couldn't actually set a breakpoint in your web page and then go into VB and actually step into it. Keep in mind, back in 97, that was really like, okay, there's six of us, let's split it up. I think we need a garbage collector. I think we need a compiler. I think we need com. Okay, great. We all went off and wrote one pagers in Word. This is what it would kind of look like. And then we went in and typed in the code. And then to actually, you know, okay, we would actually hop from office to office. Hey, here's my code, let's hook it up to yours, go back and forth, and you know, so that's like really exciting to see a system come to life. Uh, that was a few million lines of code ago, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We've sort of said at the, at the end of the day, customer apps are gonna be probably bigger or represent a bigger part of the code running than the actual framework uh, that we're building. If we can't make our own framework run fast, then customer apps aren't going to run fast either. And so we made this big bet to, to build ASP.NET almost entirely in C Sharp um, and managed code. And that was very risky in the beginning. And we do perf numbers and we'd have like, you know, four or five requests per second for hello world. And you think, God, we're never going to be able to ship this thing. And then, you know, each week we'd kind of optimize and optimize and optimize and optimize and we'd get up to 10 requests a second and then 20 requests a second and then 40 requests a second and then 100 requests a second was a big time. And, you know, eventually we got up to thousands of requests per second. And again, these are namespaces that today you just say, you know, system dot, you know, interrupt dot, you know, whatever. But we had to go create all that stuff from scratch. We did literally go type it all in. 
there's lots of things that you take for granted and you, you know, today when you program, like you can talk to the file system, you can do com interop, you can, you know, you can add two numbers together and get a result. And you know, when you're in the early days like we were uh, with .NET, you know, each of those things was a big milestone when those things finally worked. It was amazing to watch the system just bootstrap, um, just being able to go in, and I remember the first day where we put the 50 of us in a room, and we actually showed uh, the Fibonacci sequence, that little program, running with hard-coded IL, and it printed out the numbers on the screen, you know, which for a bunch of engine geeks was like, you know, wow, you know, standing out, that's just awesome. I think the fun thing with the early days of .NET and BS were, um, you know, the fact that it was such a small group and you knew everyone and, you know, you could fit everyone in one room. You know, I remember, I remember the day that we could no longer fit everyone around one table uh, was a big day. You know, it was like, wow, we need to get a bigger conference room. And, you know, now the, the project's bigger, there's a lot more people working on it. Um, and, you know, so, so sometimes you miss the, the intimacy of, I know everyone's code by sight.